To show the eigenvalues, eigenvectors, and eigenspaces of this 2 by 2 matrix, we are going to use this characteristic equation we're able to come up in our previous video. You may want to browse our channel and look for that specific video that allows us to come up with this uh, characteristic equation. We're able to use the concept of this expression where we take the matrix resulting from the product of lambda as a variable in this case times uh, your identity matrix minus your given matrix A. Take note that our identity matrix here is represented by 1, 0, 0, 1 because we have here a 2 by 2 matrix. So again, you might want to review that in our previous videos. But here, um, we will need to also go back to this form in order for us to solve for uh, the specific eigenvectors and eigenspaces. But before we go that, to do that, we are going to solve here for the value of lambda. And that's for our eigen values. To do that here, because we have a quadratic trinomial, you can use here fa any factoring method that you would like to. We could use here the AC method, where you multiply A and negative 1 8th. You will have negative 1 8 here. And the factor to have negative 1 8 when added will result to negative 1 4th is actually negative 1 half and positive 1 4th. Because negative 1 half plus positive 1 fourth is negative 1 fourth. And when you multiply them, you will have your negative 1 eighths. In short, pairing it with a certain lambda minus 1 half. And then you will ha have your lambda plus 1 fourth equated to 0. By zero factor property or the zero product property, this is only true if lambda is positive 1 half and lambda is negative one fourth because by substituting one half this will become zero makes entire the entire expression zero if this is negative if lambda is negative one fourth this is now zero which again uh, helps the entire expression to be zero this is our first lambda this is our second lambda and these two values of lambdas are your eigen values of this given matrix now, these specific eigenvalues are important in solving for the corresponding eigenvectors in the representative eigenspace. So, let's start here with the first lambda. But, of course, again, we will go back to this expression. So, simply, let's review. You have here lambda. As of the moment, we still have lambda. We will not substitute one half yet so that we could come up with the entire expression times your identity matrix minus your given matrix of 1 fourth, 1 fourth, 1 half, and then you have your 0. So you have lambda, 0, 0 lambda, minus 1 fourth, 1 fourth, 1 half, and you have here 0. In short, the final form is you have your lambda minus 1 fourth, 0 minus 1 fourth is negative 1 fourth, you will have 0 minus 1 half is negative 1 half. And then you have your lambda. Because lambda minus 0 is just simply lambda. This expression now will be used in both, uh, using both the uh, eigenvalues as we take their eigenvectors. So to start with, since we have here lambda sub 1 is equal to 1 half, this expression now will be in the form of 1 half minus 1 fourth is negative, sorry, 1 half minus 1 fourth is positive 1 fourth. You have negative 1 fourth. You have negative 1 half. And you have here positive 1 half. Okay? This is actually the process now as we are going to use this here. The expression lambda, a product of lambda and the identity matrix minus A, which is this here. But more specifically, this is constants as we take the value of lambda, which is 1 half. You're going to multiply it with a certain vector that is a uh, element of R2 is equal to the zero ve vector of R2. In this case, your x is x sub 1 and x sub 2 equal to the zero vector of R2, 0, and 0. So you have a lot of process that you could use here, but we can just simply take this uh, matrix and come up with its re uh, reduced row echelon form by first multiplying 4 to your row 1 
to have a leading one. So 4 times 1 fourth is 1. The other one is negative 1. You have negative 1 half and 1 half here as well. Now you multiply 1 half to R1, add it to R2 for a new R2. So you have 1, negative 1. 1 half times 1 is 1 half plus this, that's 0. 1 half times negative 1 is negative 1 half plus positive 1 half is 0. This now will allow us to come up with an expression x sub 1 plus x sub 2 as you're going to use that going back here okay, when you're going to multiply this with this now so you have that equal to 0. Since there are two variables let x sub 2 be an arbitrary constant t in short your x sub 1 will be solved like this plus t x sub 1 is negative of t again because you're substituting x sub 2 as t with those two representative uh, expressions for your x sub 1 and x sub 2 that would mean the x vector or vector x or your eigen vector will have negative t and t or once you take out negative, I mean positive t, you take out t, you will have your negative 1 and 1. This is the simplest form of your eigenvector for your eigenvalue which is equal to 1 half. Since there are, uh, t can take uh, any other variable, uh, value, so we have a lot of results or possible vectors and this can be written in just one set we call eigenspace t negative 1 and 1 such that t is an element of r but not an element of the set containing 0. This is now your eigenspace, your eigenvector of your eigenvalue which is 1 half. Duplicating the same process and using the same expression here as we use our second eigenvalue of negative 1 fourth. So you will have negative 1 fourth minus 1 fourth is negative 2 fourths or negative 1 half. You have negative 1 fourth here, negative 1 half here, and of course negative 1 fourth here. Just by looking at this, you see uh, two rows of the same entry. So we have concepts before that uh, we have uh, infinitely many solutions here. But let's just continue with the process presented in this video as we are going to look for this vector x equal to our zero vector. So this is a matrix now. Multiply with x sub 1, x sub 2, equating it to our zero vector on R2, 0, and 0. Again, there are a lot of processes here, but you can, of course, come up with the um, reduced row h form of this by multiplying negative 2 to R1 first. So that we will have our leading one. Negative 2 times negative 1 half is positive 1. Negative 2 times um, negative 1 fourth is positive 2 fourths or positive 1 half. Negative 1 half, negative 1 fourth here as well. Now we are going to multiply 1 half to R1, add it to R2, so that this would become 0. That's the goal of the reduced row h form. So you will have here, 1 half times 1 is 1 half plus this, you will have 0. 1 half times 1 half is 1 fourth, plus negative 1 fourth is 0 here as well. So with this, our equation now is x sub 1 plus 1 half of x sub 2 equal to 0. By letting x sub 2 equal to s as another variable because you already used t earlier, you will have your x sub 1, sorry, x sub 1 plus 1 half of s equal to 0. x sub 1 is equal to negative 1 half of s. So using x sub 1 and x sub 2 values of your vector, you will have here negative 1 half of s and you will have your s. Or by factoring s, you will have negative 1 half and 1 here. So enclosing this into one set, you will have the set of s times the vector negative 1 half and 1. That's negative, right? Let me do it better. Yeah. Negative 1 half and 1 such that s is an element of r but not an element of 
this set containing zero. This your eigen space for your eigen vector, given your eigen value which is what was that earlier? Negative one fourth. Yeah, negative one fourth. Eigen space, eigen vector, eigen value. The first eigen space, eigen vector, and eigen value. This is how we show the eigen values, eigen vectors, and eigen spaces of any two by two matrix. But of course, again, very important to get your correct characteristic equation and again review the video explaining that. Thank you very much for watching.